I've been getting lots of comments that you guys like it when I take Sunday afternoon and show you how I set up my planner to manage and organize my home. So I'll get my planner out and then I'll show you the tasks that I plan on doing this week. Keep it in mind that we only have to do four tasks in the zone. It is week three and zone three. Zone three is the main bathroom and one other room. And one thing that's been working really well is that I show you Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday when I actually complete the task. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again this week. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. And the featured apron for this week is the Kinsey. I just love these bold railroad stripes with the gold ties. There are some things that I just automatically write in my planner. I'll go ahead and put zone three at the top of the planner and then indicate that that's the main bathroom plus one additional room. Just so I know where I'm working and I got that idea from Fly Lady Cat. If you're not familiar with Fly Lady Cat, I will put her information in the description box because she is the best fly lady on YouTube and she's also my mentor. I talk to her at least twice a week. So on Monday, I just go ahead and put in the weekly home blessing. And then on Tuesday is my free day. Wednesday is my plan or desk day. And that is the day that I will clean my refrigerator to prepare the fridge for groceries. And then I'll order my groceries on Wednesday or I will order them Thursday morning and then pick them up while I'm out. And then Wednesday is my plan and desk day. So that is the day that I clean the refrigerator to prepare the fridge for the groceries that are be coming in for the week. But I also pay my bills and um, do any other paperwork kind of thing that I need to get done that day. Thursday is errand day, so I get my hair done on Thursdays and then I pick up my groceries on Thursdays or I send the hubby out to pick the groceries up, whichever I'm deciding to do that particular day. On Friday is car and purse day. I'll clean out my purse, hubby cleans out the car. And then Saturday is family day, so hopefully we can have something fun planned for that particular day. And then Sunday is renew your spirit. And I hope you guys had some time to renew your spirit today. And I've got a few stickers that I like to use sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but I have extra time, I like to do that. In addition to Friday being car and purse day, it is also movie night or date night. So the hubby and I will watch a movie. And then I'll go ahead and then put in the task that I plan to do that week in my zones. So on Monday, I'm going to declutter my makeup and the under bathroom sink and then mop the floors and wash around the toilet bowl in that main bathroom. I should be able to get all of that done in less than 15 minutes. So zone cleaning for Wednesday, I'm going to clean the shower surround in the upstairs bathroom and also clean the tub. And on Thursday, I'm going to vacuum and dust in my office. Now, whereas I will vacuum when I'm doing the weekly home blessing, it's just a quick vacuuming of the main walkways. But on this day, I'm going to get underneath the futon, underneath the desk, but really vacuum those areas that I don't get very often and dust the top of the desk as well as the computer screen and the dust surface. Friday, I'm going to tackle the top drawer on the right hand side in my office. I have been putting off decluttering that drawer. I don't even want to open it. There's so much stuff in it, but I decided that that's the task that I'm going to do this week and I put it on Friday because that's the last day of my zone cleaning for the week and the typical daily things that I have to do that week it's just really easy clean out my car and purse I'm just cleaning out my purse the honey's cleaning out the car so if it takes me a little more than 15 minutes to clean out that drawer I won't be overly exerted and of course I do my daily swish and swipe every day now what's the daily swish and swipe that's when I swish out the toilet bowl and wipe down the sink and the bathroom mirrors.
And I always go from cleanest to dirtiest. So I start with spraying the mirror and then I'm going to wipe out the sink and then I'll move over to the commode and then I'll pitch those towels, flush the toilet and then put in the toilet bowl cleaner because on Monday I like to use a bona fide toilet bowl cleaner. The rest of the week I might just use whatever multi-purpose cleaner I'm using. And this is what I call my daily swish and swipe. I do this every day in all the bathrooms and it just keeps them nice and fresh. So every day I wipe out the sink and swish the toilet bowl. And in the bathroom where we brush our teeth, I will also wipe down the mirror. Make sure you clean the handle. And in case you're wondering why I'm not wearing gloves, it's my house, my home, my family, my dirt. If I was cleaning your home or another person's home, I'd be wearing gloves. But I don't wear gloves when I'm changing my own children's diapers, so I don't wear gloves when I'm doing some basic cleaning. So I flush the toilet just to make sure that any cleaner that might have gotten into the toilet bowl has been flushed away so that I'm not mixing toilet bowl cleaner with other products. That can create some noxious gases and can be quite deadly. And I'm just using a little Method anti-bag toilet bowl cleaner. It smells so fresh and it does a great job. I set the brush like that just so the brush can drip dry. And in case you were wondering, I am using the O Cedar Mop. And it has a removable pad that I use to mop the floor with. And you can just take it off and throw it in the wash and then put it back on. So you can use that multiple times. I'm giving it a try. I'm doing a comparison between this O Cedar Mop and my Swiffer. So I'll let you know more about that when the time comes. But I'm liking this O Cedar mop right now and my bathroom smells absolutely amazing i use the mrs meyers lilac cleaner to clean everything with and then i also put some of that in the replacement bottle here on the mop so it's also on the floor so the bathroom just smells so good makeup decluttered and it was pretty easy to work through that makeup because this is the stuff that I use all the time plus I already did a big decluttering for the one box challenge with Michelle at my everyday wife life now I'm going to look under the bathroom sink there shouldn't be much here so it should only take me a minute it's pretty neat under here all the time because I keep it that way Not something I use, so I'm going to pitch that. So the first thing on the list for zone cleaning this week the main bathroom is done. And I picked a couple things in this bathroom because I knew that it wouldn't take me very long to do it. So I'll see you on Wednesday for task two. It's week three and it is Wednesday on my zone cleaning. And my task for today is 
to clean the shower surround and the tub. Now, I will typically clean the tub when I take a bath, but I don't always wipe the shower down when I take a shower. And last night, I took a very relaxing bath. And let me show you what I use. I've been working on my Swedish death cleaning, and so I'd gone through a lot of my makeup and bath products, and you'll see me decluttering some of those in the One Box Challenge for September. But this was a bath scrub that I had found in my stash of stuff, and it was almost used up. You can just kind of see right here, there's probably just a teensy wincy left. So I got it out and I used it last night, and oh, it felt so good. And their advertising is amazing. It talks about pretending that you're in the Amazon rainforest sitting on the river bank and all that kind of stuff. And I bought into it, and I was just like in the tub, relaxing, pretending to be in the Amazon. But it is some kind of a clay kind of stuff, so it's really, really gritty. So it leaves a big grit on the bottom of the tub and a ring around the tub. So I thought this is perfect for today's zone cleaning. I've already got my daily swish and swipe done. So that means I've already wiped down the mirror, wiped out the sink, and then swished out the toilet. So all I've got to do in here today is my zone task. So let's get at it. So I'm just going to spray the shower surround and the tub down with this homemade cleaning solution and it's just equal parts dawn dishwashing liquid vinegar and water and so i'll spray it down let it sit for about two or three minutes so that it can start doing its thing and then i'll get a sponge and wipe it down and i really like to spray down the sides of the tub when there's some little grubby bathtub ring in it because it can just kind of start doing its thing because that's the thing you want to let the product do its work so you spray it on let it sit for a couple of minutes or however long whatever product it is that you're using says on the manufacturer's instructions and then start scrubbing otherwise you might end up using more elbow grease than you have to so now i got my shoes off and i'm going to start wiping down the shower surround This vinegar and Dawn dishwashing liquid just cuts through that bathtub grit. That Teodora bath scrub can't stand up to this. When my husband put this handheld shower on for me, oh my gosh, it was a game changer. Because then I could just spray it down without the And then once I'm done cleaning it, I'll wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. That just gives it a nice little shine. And this is why I need an apron on when I'm cleaning, particularly in the bathroom. Because I'm leaning over and leaning on things that I don't want to get all that stuff on my silk blouse. So the tub and the shower surround is sparkling clean. And I'm going to throw the shower mat, or shall I say the bath mat, into the washing machine. I sprayed it down with a little bit of the vinegar and Dawn and water solution and then I'll just throw it in the wash with some towels. So then I'll bring that back up and put it in the tub once the wash is complete. So I can check off task two for zone three. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of zone three cleaning. Hey homemakers, it is Thursday, which is day three of zone three week three. And what is zone three? It is the main bathroom and one other room. And the one other room that I chose to work in today is my home office. And what I'm going to do is to take everything off this top of this bookshelf and dust it off. And some of those things might need a little bit of dusting. And then I'm going to wipe down my desk. The vinyl surface here needs to have a little bit of attention, and then the wood surface over here also needs some attention. So I'm going to move this stuff off, give it a quick dust and wipe down, put it back, 
and then I'm going to vacuum the floor. Now, I typically will vacuum the carpet in this room on Monday when I do my weekly home blessing. But that's just a really quick vacuum. It's just in and out of the main walkways. But today, I'm going to vacuum underneath the desk and underneath this futon and around the edges. So I'm going to do those things that I don't normally do. And I'm going to start here first because you always want to start at the top and work your way down. You wouldn't want to vacuum first and then do some things up here and end up getting dust all over your newly vacuumed surfaces. So that's why I'm going to start up here first. I like to keep my cameras up here. And this actually is a camera that no longer works. It's my Canon T3i, which I bought when I first started YouTubing. But I just like to look at it, you know, a little statement up here on the top. And then this one is an old one. It's one of those um, SLR cameras. It's kind of actually had to put film in. And I don't do any of that anymore, but I still like to have it. They're just part of my decor. I think I'm going to need my ladder so I can actually see what's up there. So I'll grab that and get that started. Woo! It is really dusty up here. So I am going to use this Method Daily Wood Cleaner. And I'm going to spray it on the paper towel rather than up here on the top. Because what I want to do is to trap the dust on the paper towel. Because there's a lot of it and I don't want to get it all in the air and then have me sniffling and sneezing. Just look at all that dust. You can tell I haven't been up here on this task for a good while. Now that I've got all the dust off, I'll actually spray some on the top. And this will work on actually conditioning the wood. And as always, I am using my Viva paper towels. I just love the Viva paper towels. The ones that are like almost like cloth, they do such a nice job. Okay, got the top of this done. Now I want to dust off some of the things that are going to go back up here. Right now, I'm just giving them a good dusting. I'll figure out how they're going to be arranged once I get this done. This little elephant is the mascot for the nursing program that I used to teach uh, at. It's the one that I retired from, and we were the Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons. And so I called it an elephant, but it's actually a mastodon, as you can see with the little tusk. And you couldn't just walk in the bookstore and buy one of these. These were special. They're pretty much numbered. And they were given as a gift when someone received their PhD or, the, or their doctoral in nursing sciences or on retirement. Not that you care, but I just want to share. So you can see here, here's, here is um, Florence Nightingale's lamp right there. And then here you can see like a little heart. And then um, there's like a stethoscope right there that's attached on this side. There's a blood pressure cuff that's on the mastodon's leg. Back here is a scale to do like height and weight. So it's just something that's just fun. I had to wait till I retired to get one because I didn't get my doctoral nursing sciences or my PhD. I stopped at my master's. I just decided I'm only going to work a couple more years. I don't need it. But I wish I had done it for me. So I've got the top of that bookshelf straightened off, straightened up those books. Now I have to remove all of those so that I can wipe down the desktop. My one cup of pens. Look at it overflowing. But it's one cup. I'm spraying just a little bit of lemon oil and vinegar on this paper towel. And I'm going to use it to initially wipe up the dust. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this lemon oil to 
clean off the top of this vinyl surface on this side of the desk. And actually, this lemon oil will work well on the wood as well, so I'll just use this. I decluttered these pens and pencils and scissors and things once when I decluttered my office, but I probably could take another pass through them. But that's a rabbit hole I'm not going down today. I'm just going to put this right back where it was. I like to keep change in this. It used to be my aunt's. It's pretty big, but it's nice. It holds change just nicely and it makes me think of her. So it's been repurposed. These are some projects that I'm working on right now, so I like to keep them right there. And I'm going to spray this multi-purpose cleaner on the cloth and just wipe this down. Well, I got the desk wiped down top and bottom. I got the fax machine printer wiped down. And it looks pretty good, but it probably took me a good 20 minutes to get that wiped down and then get things put back. So that means that the vacuum of the floor will have to go to tomorrow. I'll see you then. Well, it's day four of this Zone 3 cleaning. And yesterday, I did not get to vacuuming the floor in here. So I'm going to vacuum the floor in here today. And whereas I did expect to vacuum the floor and do all of this in one day, I was not able to do that. So the cleaning out the drawer that I had put on the list will have to wait until another day because there's no behind and there's no catch up. So out of the four items that I wanted to get done, I'm only going to get done three of them, but one of them I had to break into two units. So let's get this floor vacuumed and then we'll have these tasks wrapped up for this week. So here's my nicely vacuumed floor and I got all the dust out of the corners there and there. It'll be a minute before I get under there again. So task four on my zone cleaning for week three can be checked off of my list. If you want to see more of my August diaries featuring my zone cleaning, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of my August diaries and I will see you next time. Be sure to visit us at www.aprondiva.com.